Okay, then this is another scoot boot tip for getting a bit of extra length in your mud straps. Um, you might have put the mud strap on, you think it's it's too tight, it's putting too much tension around the paston. So using a heat gun, the same as we stretch, the same way we stretch the heel straps on the boots, it's an easy way, easy way of getting a, a, a mud strap that is too tight uh, to get yourself a good fit. Um, we're only again, we're looking at no more than about uh, probably quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, 10 mils is all you've got a heat stretch to relieve that tension around the paston. But be sure if your mud straps are too loose, if you stretch them too much, well then you're not going to, you, the boots, the mud straps aren't going to work, they're going to be too loose. So again, all we do, we use the heat gun from the local hardware shop. Most, peop most people have got a, mud, uh, a heat gun in their, in their shed. So here we go, we just start it up. And usually around the middle area of the, the middle area of the straps, it's just a matter of keeping the heat gun away, keeping that distance an inch and a half to 40 millimetres in, the, in metric and we just wave it in a certain particular spot. The mud strap, the material, TPU, it's very versatile material, very easy to heat stretch, but common sense again has got to be used so you don't overheat and melt the material uh, because that voids the warranty on the product. But it's very easy to do, it's fairly thin the material so it doesn't take a lot of heating. So we just wave it backwards and forwards, probably 30 seconds is enough for um, for the mud straps. So we're just stretching there, we're just heating. That looks about right there now. So then we just put it down, then we grab the mud straps, put a finger in through the back and just pull. Now I just pulled there and I hold that tension like that. And that's just allowing them to cool down Remembering I'm only trying to stretch a maximum of a quarter of an inch, about 10 millimetres. So we just turn that around, you can see how it's stretched there, it's a lot thinner there where I've actually heated it. And now I just let the tension off. And that those mud straps now, we've got an extra, extra, at least an extra quarter of an inch, 10 mil in length on that particular mud strap. But remember, a loose mud strap doesn't work. So don't over, overdo it the first time. Just play safe when you're doing your heat stretching. So that's just a great tip to save having to purchase another set of mud straps if you find the ones you got are too small. So thank you. That's another scoot boot tip.